This is uh, JP Finn from Coplock.org, New Hampshire Regional Coplock. I wonder if it's the same guy and if he's getting gas or if he's checking his eyes for holes. <laughs> yeah. How are you? What's that? 3385. Doing all right, how about you? How are you? Stay out of trouble? <laughs> oh, not really. We, we've been out worse. Oh, maybe or Monday. You guys just have a uh, DUI wreck somewhere? Ring. Oh, it was in range? Oh, range. No shit. Huh. Apparently, hit, hit something and then guardrails or something. And followed the trail? Yep, apparently they did, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Wow. It's crazy. Is it all cleaned up by now? Um, I think they're still, they get the guys who they arrested at PD and then two other units go back with the record to pick up the rest of them junk that was in the road. Yeah. Did he actually make it home? No, nah, he was in the middle of the road, apparently stopped. Somebody called him in because he was in the middle of the road because he didn't go any further. Wow. And he was too inebriated to walk? Apparently, I guess. Jesus I Christ. Wow. Do I understand you guys are venturing out of the city? Oh, we've been all over. We've been in Tilton, Littleton. There's a lot of shit in Tilton. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, you, got, you got the Tilton the outlets up there. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Got Charleston and Claremont up in that area. Yeah, we went in Lebanon and White River and up a valley last week. We went into Vermont? Oh, yeah, we go going both. Yeah, we did Brattleboro today. How was Brattleboro? It was all right. We were doing an internal, well, kind of an investigative reporting thing there, not necessarily cop blocking. We went to the PD and requested some records on a, on a brutality case. Um, oh, that? What's that? How long ago was that? It was today. No, I mean the brutality thing. Oh, a week and a half ago. Really? Yeah. Two weeks ago. I didn't even see it. No, it was a, a complaint that came through our website of a cop uh, mis misuse of uh, authority type deal. We just. It yeah. Yeah. Not too long. I haven't seen you since the fair, right? Nah, what, two well, years ago? No, you saw me uh, at the school. No, you were at the college. I was with uh, Christina from Team PD. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're doing details, right? Yeah, we're on, you were on the corner of uh, Wilson and Blake. You followed us for a little while. Well, I'm all over on my bike. We didn't have shit going on, so. Yeah, because you guys, you guys are showing up with 13 cops out of noise complaint, and they lost 186 students in transfers this year. Oh, did they? Yeah, all because of the the, pre, the police presence. Can't be showing up with a bunch of 21 year olds trying to have fun at 10 o'clock at night with 13 cops for a noise complaint, man. Yeah, the cop, the, the college paid for uh, extra details for the first four weeks. I think, yeah, I think it was the first four weeks. Yeah. I was I was a little concerned with the state troopers walking around with King PD with no reflective vests on, man. I thought they were gonna get fucking run over. Especially the way they drive down to Winter. Oh, I know. You have like this little little short cop, uh, you know, trooper Ray. She's like four foot five, and she's dark. Yeah, and she's dark, wearing dark clothing. And this college kid came flying around the corner and took her right out. I'm like, hey, you guys are supposed to be wearing reflective gear and reflective coats, man. What are you doing? I really thought she was going to get hurt. For the, for the most part, I, 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 I get along with most of the Keene police, but I will target at least three because I think three of them should be in jail. There's nothing going on there tonight either. It's been quiet on the radio. Well, you probably yeah, have a radio. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we have a radio. Yeah. We haven't had shit either. Seems like, I mean, we go up there like two in the morning and who's, you see like five cops right off. Who's your yeah. officer that uh, patrols over where uh, the Humane Society is? He's always in that area like Thursday, Friday nights. Probably. He's not the brightest cat in the world, man. Is that the one that, from last week? You, you we've we've last seen week. him a few times. We've, we bumped into him a few. First yeah, time was uh, at... Fisher? I, I don't, I'll have to look at the video to see his name, but... He was at the fairgrounds one day, facing this way, towards the street. And I'm like, oh, what are you guys doing? He goes, oh, uh, I'm checking the building. I'm like, well, that's funny. You're facing the road. 
And then the second time he was at uh, Keen Cycle with the uh, full throttle. You mean full? What? Well, yeah, it used to be Keen Cycle. They moved when they moved. They changed the name. Um, right next to the storage units over yep. there. Yep. He was there, and I was like, "Oh, what you doing tonight?" He goes, "Oh, I'm getting gas." I'm like, "You understand? You're not at a gas station, right?" <laughs> and then last week, last week we're talking to uh, a trooper at Nick's parking lot. Yeah, that's right. I go by. Yeah. Oh, was it you that called in the dispatch to see if he was okay? I just wanted to make sure you guys weren't giving him a hard time for getting wanted to come back. I come back. He said uh, he was good. Uh, we, we thought it was funny because well, I'm like, wow, I'm like, he's calling in the dispatch, but he drives by you three times. He must not be so. And then I called and came back around. The other guy, he drove by. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and not really I was okay, you were going to do anything, but I figured if you were sitting there freaking, why, why should he get all the fun? So I was going to come back. <laughs> and I saw you guys sitting there when I drove by, and I'm like, I know who it is, no sense to stop it. I yeah. Unless you wanted to talk. Yeah. I no, I had a good conversation with you and Keen that night. I can care less or whatever. You know, the way I look at it, I'm not gonna do anything I shouldn't do. If you want to film, have at it. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I'll be honest, you're all got nice, reflective clothing. So as long as you're not in the road, don't get hit. I'm happy. If you get hit, then I gotta do shit. So yeah. I just don't want to get hurt. Yeah. Did you see any of the the most recent videos on New Hampshire Regional Cop Block YouTube? I haven't gone online no. Forever. Yeah, we've that's we've that's had a couple run-ins with state police, bad and in, bad interactions. Where was that at? Um, the first one was in Henniker, on uh, Route Nine, right that, before two o two. Is that Troop D over there? Um, I think so. Yeah, it was a uh, Trooper Murdoch actually. We got a massive complaint in, in in play, and they accepted the complaint. There's an internal investigation on it. He basically was preventing us from videotaping his traffic stop, which is a big no-no. And then, of I course. Care less. I'll be honest, I went over there. The other guy called me and told me, because I went over there trying to find a car stop. I was like, yeah, I can't find anybody to even stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then the, sec and the second one was on the line of uh, Charlestown and uh, Claremont. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got pulled over. So that should be Troop C, right? Sullivan County, yep. though? Yeah, it was uh, Matthew Morrell that pulled us over. I don't know him either. I don't know many of the troopers from Sullivan County. You know they're from me. Yeah, I, I like the two officers that do that specifically do the uh, the domestic violence cases throughout the region. Sergeant Deleggi and his buddy there. Yeah, I remember um, my uh, ex tried to get a DVP on me, and he, he was like, "This is bullshit. There's no way she's afraid of you. That bitch will beat your." Ass. <laughs> That's what he said to me, and the judge, of course, uh, turned it down. That was a bad breakup, though. Yeah, when I went up to grab my stuff, uh, because it, it, you know, even though the DVP didn't go through, I said, I'm not going to stay and have fighting going on between right. with our kids there, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, the, with the kids being there, I cannot see me and her fighting in front of the children, you know? So I chose to go and uh, leave, and he actually, him and his him and the other trooper actually helped me carry out a bunch of shit. I really appre I appreciated that. I'm not too fond of what he found in the house, in her possession. And that That's still an issue. He found all kinds of stolen pill bottles from oh, right Rite Aid and all kinds. It is an issue, though. Well, pills are huge, man. And, and it puts the... The painkillers put people in a bad position because they usually on it for a real good reason. Like their back gets thrown out or their knee gets blown out and they just can't come off of it. Well, I think the doctors can prescribe it and then, then they know it's not going to friggin', you know, then they're going to take them off of it cold turkey and then what are they going to do? Yeah. You know, they're just stealing pills or friggin' doing heroin. Yeah, yeah. And they because they can't get the pills, they go on heroin and then when they try to get off of heroin, they get hooked on Suboxone. Right. It's, a, it's a vicious oh. circle. And then when that happens, they're going back and forth, and then you read them in the obituary. Right. No, I, I hate the fact that they're bringing the methadone clinic, like the one down on 10. Oh, yeah. All, in Winchester? Yeah, it's for profit. And so why would they want anybody to get off? Right. Or they're going to give them just enough to bring and keep them coming back. Yeah, it, may, it, it makes no sense. It's, it's just a bad drug, and heroin's just horrible. Yeah. That's one of the things I don't agree with. One of many reasons why I don't agree with the free state is. I read a thing too that apparently 
they uh, just getting it up near Claremont with the fentanyl in it. People are starting to overdose. That's why there's been stadies ro roaming those streets yeah. on da daily. We right. saw, uh, like, what, three one night over and over and over right. patrolling Claremont. And I think it's because of the drugs. Hey, do they still have that, uh, that, um, the pool table place up here? I mean, you go to the next exit up, the next one, and sit around the backside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're open. Actually, they're probably getting ready to close about midnight. Oh, no kidding. But yeah, I didn't cool realize. Place, you, you know, you can bring your own beer in there. Oh, really? You don't need to have a, uh, they don't need to have a license if you bring your own. So as long as they don't sell it. Yeah, I, re I went there once uh, with my ex, and they actually sold a lot of the microwavable frozen foods in it. Really? Yeah, so I'm like, oh wow, you can get this you know, pizza, and you know. They've been there for a while. It's a husband and wife, actually. They're I can't. It's a long ass name that owns the place. Yeah. His parents used to own. Greek, it. probably. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice people, though. Yeah, they usually, you, they, they were pretty nice when we went in there. Yeah, it's it definitely pretty dead for a Friday night. I know, I'm surprised, you know. And even last night, you guys out last night? No, mm -hmm. we usually go on Thursdays, yeah, but last night we didn't. For, for St. Patrick's Day, there was absolutely nothing. Really? It was crazy bringing up my Wow. Life. I figured for sure, you know, I driven by Waxy's earlier in the day, and the place was absolutely packed. I'm like, there's yeah. got to be something ugly from that place. <laughs> we didn't get anything. Nothing? Yeah. We, everybody's been getting hit with this 10, 11 day flu too. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people have been sick. Of the hundreds. When I went to the hospital to go on uh, antibiotics, because I had it. You sounded still a little congested. Yeah, yeah. I, I got hit with it. Right after the flu, I got hit with a double ear infection, strep, and a sinus infection, and a chest Damn. infection, dude. I got fucking wrecked. I couldn't even walk, man. But, uh,. When I went to the hospital, they said it's some weird super strain of, of the flu. It's been, yeah. like the senior citizens have died, like three or four cases um, have died because my temp at one time, uh, the highest it got was like 103.8. Yeah, that's very high for yeah. an adult. For a kid, it's nothing. But... Yeah, they said you're in, you're in rough shape. <laughs> yeah. Did they make you pump fluids and everything? Uh, no, they didn't IV me at all. They gave me a Martin. Um, at a really strong dose, and yeah, like a bigger version of amoxicillin or whatever. I think it's like three and one. I think it's like three antibiotics in it. I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what right. the hell's in it. All I know is it killed. It killed the sinus infection, ear infection, and the strep in like 24 hours. It was gone. Now you're probably sterile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to be. <laughs> I got plenty of kids, man. There you go. <laughs> and unfortunately, they only cost money. Yeah. Well, with my new wife, I ended up oh, picking up. Wife? I didn't know you got married. Yeah, yeah, I got married uh, last summer. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Um, she's got four, and I got two, so most of the week yeah. I have six. Hold on. Come back. 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 Come back.